Okay, starting a new clip. It's about time for the batteries to start running out or well, something else to go wrong, isn't it? Well, the sun is rather nice. Bit of lichen on the bark there. Bit of bark on the lichen, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to choose a spot, fellas, to cut in. I think that uh, termite mound is a good, is a good, good one, a good location marker, but also, you know, they are insect-eating plants, and termites, as far as I can remember, are insects. So, uh, as I say, um, they couldn't, uh, uh, you know, until fairly recently, they couldn't work out why we had so many lizards in Australia, particularly in the desert region. What were they living on? And suddenly, uh, if you've watched the From the Heart series, which I would love to send to every, all my friends, I sent out about 10 copies over the last decade, basically one a year almost, and uh, it's been remaining now, so I can't, I would love to send that to Sean. He'd absolutely wet his pants watching that thing. I think it's just the best thing to send someone overseas who's into animals and plants, or they, particularly if they're into animals. And uh, yeah, this bloke is gas bagging on like I, I do, but in his particular area of expertise, yes, the fern, so called serpentine indicator fern, uh, one of the three world species, I think, of uh, serpentine indicator or serpentinic soil or something. But uh, yeah, he's gas bagging on about sun, he was out there in the field, and uh, one night it rained, and the whole soil seemed to open up, and all these termites came out. And of course, then he suddenly realised these are the these termite mounds are basically the vegetable cows of the uh, of the Australian bush, and uh, the lizards live live off the termites. They have an absolute small. They have a super. They supersize themselves whenever there's a big rainstorm, and all the termites come out. And then the lizards just fatten themselves up, fatten their tails up, and everything on these termites that come out of the soil. Uh, in the in the well, more than millions, in the billions, well, if not even even large trillions probably. But uh, yeah, but unfortunately, that is probably the best eco uh, ecological series they ever did, and it's a truncated series as, as well. You know, they did one series, and it was very popular, and they for some reason they, they got halfway through basically a second series, and it, it sort of like got terminated sort of thing. And yeah, I've been plugging these things out for the last decade to people around the world, and I would still love to do it, because it's still the best thing out there. It's like Bill Peach's Explorers series, you know? I used to come home from school and catch the end of one of these things. And it wasn't until early to middle 90s they re-showed it, and I, and I managed to get it onto VC, um, no, VCS, record the whole series on there, and I also got... Uh, finally got to see the whole series and got to see the beginnings of the programs like because coming home from school we'd always leave like uh, you know to after three and get home by 3 30 sort of thing and I'd miss the uh, you know the first 10 or 15 minutes depending on you know how quickly I got home sort of thing so I, it was only in the early 90s I caught up with the beginnings of all the and, I, and then you also you'd miss an episode and things like that so not only did I caught, catch up with the whole series, I caught up with the beginnings of every episode. And uh, yeah, it was, it's fantastic then. The maps, the way they do the maps is just wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do maps as well as they have on, uh, you know, for, for a documentary style program. And it still hasn't come out, it's never come out on DVD. And now Bill Peach, he's dead now, he died recently. And I think, well, isn't that the most appropriate time to come out with the DVD finally or maybe even blu-ray if you can get it I don't know what the original quality was but uh, I'm sure they would have been using the best uh, I think it may be a Dione Gilmore uh, series one of her probably early ones I don't know you know she's the executive producer or something Bill Peach is under her or something I don't know or vice versa but uh, <laughs> Isn't it about time we send out stuff from Australia to the rest of the world just showing what we've got here and how good it is and telling people that this is the time to come to Australia. There are times to come to Australia. You come now and you get to see the best. If you come at other times, you'll be like Charles Darwin. You come at the wrong time, 
you'll be sorely disappointed and you may even come up with some disparaging which are nonetheless true you got to give him his due he was nonetheless accurate you come at the wrong time of the year and everything's drib and drab no hardly any flowers about nothing's growing noisy insects crunchiness under the foot everything like that everything he said is basically true if you come at the right time of the year which most tourists never seem to do and and, and it's all um it's complicated by the fact that we have this line that goes from Perth to basically Brisbane and the we have the wet and the dry flip round and it's slightly different as I said you've got to come in the, on the end of the wet in the north basically to get the drying soil and that's when all the plants are growing and here you've got to come at the beginning of the wet is it, it, am, I, am I making myself clear that I don't think I made that point quite clear between the seasons I flipped around but also you've got to watch out you really want to come on the end of all the water up north and it's basically follows this line from Perth all the way up to uh, Brisbane basically and it, and also that uh, ties in with the the cross winds that come up come about from uh, Antarctica and I, I still don't think we've done this properly I need to start a new trip and go around there and this idea coming from this side didn't pan out <laughs> sorry about that fellas it was an idea it just didn't work time to move on and We'll do it properly from the other side, okay? Over and out, I've been gas bagging too much. Maybe that's what you like. <laughs> okay, over and out.